It's the Yak, brought to you by Roback. You gotta get yourself some fucking Roback. Roback, uh, tees, hoodies, collared shirts, joggers, shorts, lids, all that stuff is available all week for 20% off on your first purchase through the end of this week. So you got a nice long runway of five weekdays to do this, but why dilly-dally? Use code YAK on Roback.com. It's the YAK. A uh, a back and forth week of the Yak. It'll be in New York today. It'll be in Chicago tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday. But then it'll be back in New York on Friday, I believe. Even though Sass will be on the road, and I'll be in L.A. for the Pat Bev show. So who will be in on Friday? That is a no housekeeping co- conversation uh, that we're gonna have to have. Steve, you got it. You got it, Steve. I could do it, or we could just pre-tape an extra one when we're in Chicago. Either's fine. But how will we talk about topical events? It's true. We are a current event show. Crystal ball. Hit that crystal ball. Mm-hmm. The, the current event that's going on right now is the office has been realigned, and there's a, a grumbling mutiny about it. There's people silently pissed off. and uh, Not even silently. People uh, are mad that they... <clears throat> Wow. Wowza. People are mad that they okay. didn't get us yeah, uh, a job <laughs> to speak. <laughs> Yikes. First words of the I day. A stomach like, full of fucking yes. stingray from last <laughs> night. Dude. I got some skate fish for dinner. Yeah, yeah, you did it? Yeah, that shit was weird. You were on the skate, like was, roll bounce? It was all like bone. It. it was the hardest thing functionally to eat that I've ever had. And the, the chef came out and she was like, just rip it with your hands. You to, it was like all cartilage. She was like spoon feeding you. She was like this and she was like putting it on and then like mad. spoon feeding you. What the fuck? Where were you guys? Having uh, skate at this place, fish market. Fish market. Damn, Mama. that's your spot. Chef Shit was like getting funky. pissed. I was eating it wrong. You have to rip it with your hand. Well, what made you get the fucking skate? It was a special, and it was it was like delic- uh, decadent, like a crab kind of. Interesting. Succulent. White meat. You should have said, I don't want no hand. White fish. meat. Yeah. It was stringy. It was good ass skate fish or. Or bad terrible. Skate yeah, you don't really have it. Could have been the worst ever. Yeah. <laughs> then it can only get better from there. What's a skate look like when it's alive? A ray, right? Fucking stingray. It looks like a ray. Oh yeah. Skates yeah. and rays are the same. Nick was getting clowned by the servers for always ordering the same thing. What'd hey, you get? They love me. I walk in Nikki. That is true. Up. That was good. It's cool. It's, it's a Chinese cool. restaurant. Kinda. Incredible food. Look at that. Those see, are smaller see. than actual stingrays, though. Correct? Oh, Kyle's, it took up the whole fucking tank. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> do you eat the underside, or do you eat the I wings? I don't know. I was struggling to eat it. Like, the underside looks a little bit... I believe I caught a skate fish when I was younger, when I was just a wee boy. Ooh, that looks weird plated. That's n- is that how it looks? No. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> 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 I want to a good restaurant. Uh, what was the what was the tummy like after eating that stingray? Um, Solid. Oh, shit. Poop? pretty shitty. <laughs> oh, was it? Yeah, but it was good. It was worth it. Really? Was it not yeah. fresh? You got a side of irukandji jellyfish fried. Yeah. Are you a adventurous eater like that? I I am pretty open. Yeah. That sounds really open. That sounds like uh, not picky eating. Or picky they say it's a special. I'm going to trust them. Really? They said, Mama's in the house today. She's cooking. This is the special. I'm getting it. Really? I never. Are specials the best thing on the menu or something they're trying to get rid of? Yeah, I don't I know. It's just something unique that they have for like one week. Right, yeah. That. They probably caught one skate when they yeah. were getting all the yeah, rest was of there. It washed up. She, yeah. She kept checking in on me, making sure I was eating it right. I wasn't. They're probably making sure you were alive. <laughs> yeah, that's poison. Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> Someone got yeah, my stage. stomach was wrecked. It still is. <laughs> you had the stinger first. That's probably you're not supposed to eat that. No. But what were you saying before? <laughs> uh, the seats. People are mad that they got the wrong seat or they didn't get a seat at all. Who get, who didn't get a seat? They're not mad by their seat. They're mad by the crew that they're surrounded by. I'm assuming, right? Yeah. They don't want to associate with the people by them. Yeah, they're they're not, they're in the wrong. They feel they're in the wrong crew. But I hate to break it to you, if you think you're in the wrong crew, you're in the right crew. If you're somebody <sighs> bitching about your crew, guess yeah. what? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> we pull up the seating chart. I want. I almost want to bring in Nate to just let him get it Is off his here? chest. I know. He, he had steam coming out of his ears. Where? What? What seat is he at? I don't know. I just want him to be the vox populi. 
I'm surprised you didn't get an office. <laughs> Don't play, Sash. Uh, Don't play Fox, with the dog. Fox popular. Isn't that like having to do with like fucking your emperor can fuck your wife or the king can fuck your wife? Well, that's prima nocta. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> I think Vox Popular is voice of the people. Uh, uh, I always wait, what use is those two. Prima <laughs> nocta? That was, what is he, prima nocta? That was Smitty's go-to term. He he would always be like, Prez is coming in and declaring prima nocta on us. And it was... It's from Braveheart, but the guy, like the king can come around on your wedding night and he can get first fuck of your wife. Yeah. That's pretty badass. Wow. The right of the first night. Kings, dukes, the right have sex to have any of their female subjects regardless of their will. <laughs> very, very modern. If I was a duke, I'd be showing up to every wedding. Yeah. It's in the back, like, <laughs> yeah. leaning in the door frame. <sighs> Hurry this up. <laughs> if I knew she was I, down, I would definitely go. Imagine being the rest of the Dukes that had to, like, when they were trying to bring this up to make it a law, who just had to go along with it. <laughs> and this new policy that I'm going to <laughs> implement, I get to fuck all of your wives. First. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're already married. So, yeah, you're grandfathered in. He doesn't have to fuck your wife. But, uh, the, yeah, the seating chart is... Uh, I'm trying to. I'm trying to text you here. Is the dog here? I think he's. Yeah, here. I saw him oh, gimping him in. around. Uh, Kelly, uh, Marty, and Rhea across from each other. Uh, footsies. <laughs> <laughs> Those feet will never be on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Marty's gonna have like a spot on his leg where he can't grow hair anymore. It's <laughs> from all the friction. What's the um? Oh my god! How is the proper way of doing footsies? Do you just put your foot on top of the person, or is it like you're kind of stacking it I've like your footsies? The best way to do footsies is to <laughs> is to put your feet against the other person's feet and then you run. Oh, bicycle! Yeah, that's bicycle. more of a like a workout. Game. Yeah, that's not Game. a sexual. Yeah, thing. no, not at all. I used to do that with my sisters. <laughs> very, very non-sexual. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it isn't at all. Let's get a picture of Sass. It's just, <laughs> no. It's like my sister who's 10 years younger than me. Okay. Mm. Fucking freak. Okay. You're a fucking demon, dude. How to play oh, footsie. How to play footsie. Oh, it isn't. Imagine, game. like, the artist that had to, like, draw this he was, like for his yeah. job. The dog. Rick? Hi. Ron. Hello, Hello, dog. Wait, what is learning footsies? We're learning about footsies right now. One second. We're, we're learning about for, you would you wouldn't know shit about that oh. <laughs> with your busted member. Oh, I've got a well, that's what that's I that's like. extremely that's sexual. yeah that just got Wait, really yeah. sexual out of nowhere. Oh, like dragging the toe up the shin. That's more sexual than some fucking. In most 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 fucking. What's this? If I found out that someone that's was cleaning your feet oh, afterwards, I guess. Dude, if you come home and your wife's cleaning her feet, <laughs> oh, it's over. Who the that's fuck hot too. Were you playing footsies with at work today? Bitch, let me smell your feet. Let me smell your fucking toes. It like smells your, like your Carl's. Foot smell like leg. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nate, dog, what's up, brother? Hi. Just wanted to get you in for a quick second, so we could get. I, I was saying the Vox Populi, the voice of the people, the temperature of the office, on the rearrangement, the realignment. I think it's fine. I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> what's the question? What's the drama? There's rumors going around that some people are upset about it. About their location specifically. Nobody's addressed me or told me that way. I don't know. I think you just, I, I think people are like, last week there was a lot of we're adults, we don't need to be told where to sit. And then everybody came in today and sat exactly where the seating chart told them to. But what is the daycare metaphor? Oh, my tweet last? Yeah. Oh, that was about something else. What was that about? We can't get into that. that Hi, the whole out from us. <laughs> of course we can. So you you brought me in saying that thing. That's what you actually wanted to it, talk I about. Thought, I thought it was about the seating. I thought you were mad about the seating. No, no. Most no, jobs no. I've had. Have no, been, I every was. Every job I've had tells you where to sit. You're being such a little coy fish right now, dude. You should you should live in a fucking pond with how fucking coy you're being. You. If you want info out of me, just ask the direct info. What is the? What were What's you upset about? about? Yeah, God, it's, it's behind <laughs> the scenes, people. Oh, <laughs> it, even the way you just said that made me it tickled me pink. So someone like Coleman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I fucking hate Coleman. <laughs> but like, so like a no. camera guy. No, no, no. Like behind, like non-content, uh, behind the scenes people, people in charge sales? of structure. People who are. 
people who were put in. I'm, I'm trying to be diplomatic. Uh, dip, Diplom- that's a great word. This isn't the show for that though. This is a show where we. This is a good. In, this is a good okay, vibe show. No, this no is no idea how good we had it. With, with Brett. Brett. Wow, office manager Brett. I miss, Wait, good, yeah. no, I miss Brett. I do too. I miss Brett. He was good. Remember those? Wait, you're trying to cause drama on a Monday, huh? You tweeted this to the public. No, I know, <laughs> <laughs> and it got big numbers too. Right, about to, is, that's yeah. None of my. Yeah. I tweet. I'm like, this is a good one. It'll get like eight likes, and then I just like fire off some bipolar, unhinged tweet about Brett Schmerriman, and it's the only thing that people care about. It's just coy. It's giving yeah, it's Jesus, Nate. Nate, we're giving you. This is the yeah. Then you're giving the platform. <laughs> yeah, come on. So why are you fucking us? Don't fuck us don't fuck us face to face at least b- p- shove our face in the pillow you're f- you, well, you being so coy i think it's about one of us no no come on you i, know, I mean i mean sass. you know me better yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> no one, one of us sass <laughs> what's your problem with sass oh no i like sass is this one specific right. incident that happened in the past week or is this like an ongoing set of incidences I'd say it's yeah, it's it's a pattern. I would say I almost want to unleash KB because KB is is our best uh, interrogative interviewer. He'll get to the fucking bottom of this shit. So uh, I mean, I think everybody generally is on a similar page when it comes to just changes. And I mean, you guys talk about it on this show often and make fun of how current barstool is and how it's corporate and blah 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 and it's part of getting bigger it's part of the changes and sometimes stuff just irks you like i know stuff irks you that you wish something was one way and it's the other way and sometimes you just wake up on the wrong side of the bed and you do some sub tweeting and then i just wish joey on. and pat were straight i'm just affronted by how gay those dudes come off but that's my thing that i would wish i would change what's your thing that you would change Similar. <laughs> I just know you have shit, and I'm afraid. Are you saving it for KFC Radio? Yes. I feel like you're saving the oh, good yeah. shit, you and you're like, out? you're holding out. You're holding out on the yak. He won't I give the yak anything. You don't want to say it on a you're, live. I, here's program? a. This is a serious question. Are you transitioning into a more dramatic inner barstool show, or, or what's the plan here? For the yak? Yeah. Like once so once Big Cat's yak goes to Chicago, uh-huh. are you then doing more of an inside New York City barstool show? Uh not like a yak. I'm not doing a different I'm I'm not doing like a different version of the yak. But uh, if you give me some juice right now, maybe it could be no, I'm saying positive like, that we could do something like that. You do your daily show once they leave. Is it gonna be- <laughs> I'm not doing a daily show once they leave. Oh you're not? No, no. I thought you were. No. We're gonna do two boy dads. A week, and one's gonna be live. Like, wow, on, live, on YouTube, like live stream. Yeah. yeah, that's similar, though. Yeah, yeah, but not. It's not gonna not be. Daily, we're like. not doing a daily show. Will it still be Ronan and Sass centric, or will it be more uh, community? I think we could in- include more barstool people. I think people, and I, I was talking to people about this. Like, it, it kind of goes with the barstool radio, and I do think barstool radio it made everybody's life miserable. Like when you're on it, you were angry for a week. Dave ruined your life. It sucked. That's what we're trying to do with you right now. But I do think there were important things that came from it that held everybody accountable. Like, if you fuck up, it wasn't, LOL, I'm sorry. It was, you should pay for your discretions. Interesting. And I think there are there is a middle ground way to do it. It doesn't have to be the way Dave did it and just ruin everybody's life. It can be more humorous, but I, I do think... Who would be in charge of that? Of that Adam Frone. I don't think Adam, Rome would. I don't think Rome uh, he's would be. not that kind of guy. No, because no, it doesn't have to be angry. It's just like when you do barstool inner office, not politics, like drama. There's different ways to do it. But that's what I'm trying to do right now. Yeah, but I'm saying the yak has never been that show. You we guys always dip our toes in. You guys have the, been very, we'll, we'll joke you know, about stay it. in your yak world, and anything going on out there stays out there, which I think is a good thing. I don't think everything needs to be. We were pretty. We were pretty. Uh, we were pretty out there for the fucking Mean Girls stuff. Like when the Mean Girls first did their first attack, their yeah. first mean attack. Which one was that? With Caitlin Walker, right? Oh, we covered that. That, that was one? Mean Strike. Yeah, we covered that. That was we had Big Cat on Spy Cam for that, right? Yeah. Was that, they were. They said that you we're not allowed to be friends with her because she wasn't content. That's crazy. You're allowed to be friends. You just can't talk. 
about someone who's not content, and that's what, why you're not saying anything right now. I mean, if it's someone who no one knows, I get that. You don't want to throw a, an individual person under the bus. Correct. Right Correct. Like, it, it's kind of the thing where it's like, do I really need to make this behind the scenes person's life, you know, harder? And the answer is no. Why would you be making their life harder? Because you disagree with something they no, do? No, because when you publicize it and then just becomes like a thing and blah, 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 blah. So you want to keep it in house? Yeah. But you were going to, you're going to go on KFC radio to talk about if, it? If they would have started a Zoom call on Friday, I would have erupted. So you were ready but, to do that. But now I. You're not doing took it. Took my meds. It was like serious <laughs> anger. I was furious, yeah. Furious? <laughs> yeah. It was, so something happened to Someone did something to you, I'm assuming? Personally? It affected you. It affected me. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't directed at me, but it it affected me. And I just, I don't know, Nick, you know me somewhat well. I just kind of fly off the handlebars every once in a while. So this is a professional incident. Has this person been respectful to you <laughs> that's historically? A good, that's a good question. Uh, I, I haven't had a large relationship with this person. No. Oh, so uh, do they even know it's them? Or is this, just like a, this, is, this would be a complete sneak attack? I'd say this person's aware. Okay. But everything's fine now. I had a good weekend, relaxing weekend. How was your weekend, Sass? My weekend was splendid. I had a uh, stingray. Skate. But, yeah, who, skate. but what was the incident? You're trying to skate right now. Where's Kate? Kate is in <laughs> Chicago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're trying to skate big time. She How did it affect you directly? I, I don't want to prolong this. I, I, I don't know. You won't say. Yeah, I, I don't okay. think you it's will not say. I don't Fair think enough. I don't think it's necessary to say, but you text us? No. Who it is? No. No. We text Nick? Mm. No. He won't tell any of us. Oh, that's fr- yeah, secret. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he won't. Nick is always the first to know though. Or he's one yeah, of the first. Nick definitely knows know. now. I need to take Nick already knows. I need to take oh. Nick out of the <laughs> circle of trust. <laughs> Why? He's not I have the loosest. <laughs> loosest <laughs> no, he's being trustworthy I'm right now. He's taking more ships than Pearl Harbor. <laughs> uh, Nick is being very trustworthy for you right now. If he knows, if he truly knows deep down, stuff sometimes just bothers me. Well, here's then... my here's a question. How would you have done it? Oh. I think communication is key. Okay, who would you have communicated with? You? <laughs> 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 yeah. I mean, if it personally affected me, like, what do I care? I've, Right. Yeah. And so you think that people should have, or like, uh, communicating about where people sit. It is not about seating. No correlation. No. Did that what person? is it about, you coy bastard? Is it we about Dave the office? Dave's here. We could go structurally. Is it about radio. the office? It's a going back to what we said at the beginning. It's the same way you guys make fun of how Barstool is now. Like when stuff. Piles up and piles up and piles up. I just, I just yeah, like physically, like the boxes. No, not the boxes. Uh, the problems. Problems. Yeah. I see what I see where you're coming Different. from. I see it both ways. I see where you're coming from is you want these decisions to be made democratically. I, I will say I might just keep tweeting about it though if they're gonna keep That's doing numbers. Done. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you want shit to be be done democratically and. Uh, that's what this country was built on. I'm worried that when the full Chicago move happens, the way that the New York City office is currently structured compared to the way the Chicago office will be structured, we will be left in the dust in New York City. But the ceilings We're are the high same enough. Company. No, they have a full court basketball. The ceilings are high enough for basketball. But what do you yeah. mean left in the dust? We'll just you want to have as much fun or No, it's not about fun, just about output. Funding, uh, the way we're viewed, the way it looks on social, the way people pay attention to Chicago compared to New York, I think. But you can't always control the way that you're viewed, you know? As an office, I think we should be more hands-on in ensuring our survival. Interesting. Do you, do you disagree with that? No, but I also think that... I, mean, I know you've had these similar conversations I've had. Yeah, but I'm not like uh, doom and you, gloom if you about wanna, it. If you want to talk about it, you have to talk about it. I know, but I'm saying my too. perspective is not doom and gloom about it. I'm like, oh, my, this is I, a, no, no, a, no, I'm a, trying to I'm trying to be proactive instead of reactive. I feel that. So what would you do I know you're Well, I mean, you, you can't just hammer me about the details when I know you've had these exact same conversations to be proactive. But I've, so let's not, talk about those conversations, Ron. Which conversations? <laughs> now we have to name names. But uh, my my point is like I oh, you're I skating yeah you're skating yeah old Tony Hawk over here says not at all not at all I'm I'm like very hopeful and excited about I am this too movie. no I think there are great 
things we can do. I'm totally. just I'm trying to stay ahead of that, and I just don't want them to say, "All right, like wash our hands, office IKEA couches, connect four, we're done." <laughs> right, and so you think that that's a half-assed. Fast, do you you agree with that? I mean, I, yeah, the couches and yeah. connect four has has been a success. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. People are playing connect. Look, so four. Like, my so problem is that the the pieces for the connect four aren't big enough. Uh, I'm still worried I could choke on one of them. <laughs> See, I want them smaller just if I ever get hungry. <laughs> My problem is that I don't like when people complain without a better plan. I am being proactive on that. I am gathering information from everybody in the office about what we need and want and could use. And I'm relaying this to the powers that be. So you want to be part of that leadership committee that puts together what I, the new I office want, is I like. want to speak for the people who are scared to speak up. And that's why I was like, Nate, Vox Populi, dude. Voice, voice of the people. What did you just, Vox what? Vox Populi. Never heard of that. Voice of the people. Voice Latin. of the people, a little Latin that we like to throw around on this show. You guys are advanced here. Shit. Yeah, no, I think there's a lot of people who are scared to speak up or wouldn't know who to speak up to. And uh, that's not great because there's people who have good ideas and... I'm trying to vocalize for them. Fair. Um, it, it's not. I mean, yeah, I was being dramatic on Twitter, but it came from a good place. Can I interject? Of course. Play a little devil's advocate. Is, is it not a little bit late? Aren't there already like plans well, for that's, what? That, that's part of my anger, yeah. It's but I mean, couldn't it. these conversations have been drummed up a couple months ago for the New York arm? Right, that, that's part of where like I was angry about is like, where was this communication months ago? I also agree. I think that the New the Chicago move kind of snuck up. It was pretty much in the works for like four years and then it just happened. Right? <laughs> So is that a sneak oh, up? Wait, I don't think like, <laughs> yeah, four years didn't really sound like a sneak <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but like since I started here, everyone's like, oh, everyone's moving to Chicago. And then out of nowhere, it was like next month. It's freshman year, and then suddenly I'm graduating. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> I don't know. No, I know what you mean. It was, oh, by the way, half the office is moving next month. Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. KB, Nick, do you guys feel good you, about what you're doing? Unless they were withholding from you. <laughs> Maybe they knew for a while and they just... I feel uh, really I, bad I, right now. Uh, <laughs> I feel terrible. Uh, I think an apology is necessary. Here, whether moving to Chicago, staying here, are always too quick on the doom and gloom trigger without even a, a day of the change happening. I'm trying not to jump directly into the doom and gloom end. There we go. Well, I'm the, enjoying the, the devil's advocacy from Che, though. Well, he's separated from glass. Yeah. <laughs> I'm safe from Nate. <laughs> I've been enjoying the Devil's Ray <laughs> <laughs> in my stomach. Seeing devil's Hard Ray. to eat, Nate. But uh, I think that I I, I, I understand that um, you like or or you want to be part of making these decisions. And uh, there was a certain amount of people that make the decisions. It's not so much. I don't think I have all the answers or I should be the decision maker because, you know, I don't have the best brain. I don't know how everything should be. I think everybody like you, Smokes, Keegs, whoever else comes to work every day should have way more of a say in th their career. You know, it's like if they don't have what they need, it impacts them a ton. Right. I think that there's also a little bit of too many chefs spoil the broth, though. Have what like they need. If, like we we got to get Keegs a basketball court too. <laughs> <laughs> but my like for grown. These are centered, dude. <laughs> How is like things in the office gonna affect grown for like son of a boy dad the Pat Bev show? That's that's the show is he? That that's a great question, and I you know well if grown that I don't know he's a smart guy he probably does want something that we don't have here. There's a piece of equipment or technology or a stage or a oh. green screen, anything that he could use that we don't have. And maybe the person who, you know, designed, made the office, didn't even consider asking Adam these questions. Are you, do you feel, when you see new stuff get built in the Chicago office, do you feel a pang of jealousy? I think it's hard not to. Mm. I think it's, I think, yeah, I think it's exceptionally hard not to. And you guys are, you're not going to apologize to him? Is that what you're saying? That neither of you are going to apologize to, to Nate over this? No, I'm sorry, Nate. Um, <laughs> it's not your fault. I'm joking. No, I mean, because of, like, we'll have more fun or because like we'll be able to live stream more activities? I don't know. It, it just seems like he feels like you'll be the focal point. Or not you, but Chicago will be the focal point. That's what you're saying, correct? 
and it's it's not about Eric Nathan. Like I know my base is very very low compared to you. That's the nature of a base. Ceiling is very very low. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, um, that is the nature. Of this. Yeah, I I don't know. It just seems like when all the focus is on an office, whatever miles away, it's like, are we being left behind or are we being left in the dust? Mm, interesting. Sass, does that worry you? Uh, no, not at all. Not at all. Because as long as you do your own shit, it doesn't really matter if there's. I mean, I, I just don't think I've ever been in like the. Like I'm not, I'm not like in like stool scenes or anything like that. Like I just kind of do my own thing. And so as yeah. long as you focus on, but, uh, I think son of a boy dad will honestly get bigger from this. Why? Because it's not going to be me and Roan on the same show every single day. Yeah, you're right. True. So people. Oh, oh, oh! Like being on the yak and then having and then the two yeah. days. So to see you guys together, you have yeah. to be a son of a boy dad. Yeah. I like that. That makes sense. Yeah, we're excited for from that perspective we don't or? do any office what like what do you mean like there's not like audiences for a, an entire office i think no i think there i think it's like where like this will just, be the new chicago where it's like right. that's just like a stem of barstool i think barstool as much as it sucked and we were depressed every day as a company we were best at the old office where it was legitimately a reality show every day and without dave in the mix here I, we don't have that certain quality that Chicago will have. I heard Gazzo's going to be back around, though. Gaz won't be. Come on. That's not what Gazzo's saying. Gaz will be here he for said a that we're months. putting the straw back into the drink, and he's about to be stirring that bitch. We'll see, and we'll see if people react to it. I think people might also be just, like, immune to Gaz's nonsense at this point. It just seems like in some ways you're saying that you want the uh, – you want someone to be holding everybody accountable. And in some ways you're saying that's that's uh, not this show and it was making everybody depressed and stuff like that. I, I Was that a question? I, as sure far as was. coverage goes too, aren't most of the social guys staying here? I think it'll be split equally. It's just what are people going to gravitate more, more towards, the Chicago people or New York people? How about a little more devil's advocacy? But Steven? isn't that more on the people, right? Like, if yeah. you look at resources, no, the big difference is a you know a basketball court and, and a golf and simulator. I think I mean Gaz being here would be good. I think there has to be for stuff to work. There has to be one of those people in the mix stirring it up. I know one of the mandates in the Chicago office is people are going to have to be in five days a week. Is that going to be something that New York is going to mirror or mimic, or is I like because no that's a similar you I, know feel from the old barstool days? Of course, it would of course be beneficial. But I don't think anybody's going to demand it. I'm not, not crazy to ask. I'm not going to be in five days a week, tell you that. You're not? Who, not four. <sighs> Who is going to be the number one once Gaz leaves here? Adam Ferron. No, oh, KFC. Adam. KFC's the GM, right? Or? Yeah, it should be, it should be Roan. People respect Roan. People <laughs> find Roan funny. People yeah, want Roan right. to do his own yak in New York City. I don't know why he wouldn't. Um, the voice. He is the voice of the office. I don't know about that. I don't. I don't want to be in charge of anything, though. To be honest with you, Why is that, that was that was never like you don't want to take the next step into leadership. That was never my dream. Like someone like be, being a good engineer doesn't mean like you're good at being in charge of engineers. Do you know what I mean? Sure. Yeah, but I think you would be a good leader. That's very nice of you, but uh, I kind of would rather just make stuff. <laughs> that sounds way better. <laughs> you know what I mean? That sound way sounds better. way better. Yeah. Um, but I would love to be a resource, and uh, I feel like this was started off as a conversation about seating. But I've I've enjoyed it. But now that I see Sass has put his head down in awkwardness, I've <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that was awkward, was it? No, 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 not at all. Uh, I think it was illuminative. Yeah, I thought that was a good talk. Yeah, I appreciate it, brother. You should just consider doing the rack. Huh? The rack? Yeah, the Ron Yak. <laughs> no. Mm. no. I don't want to even People do anything it. that's like the Yak. Sound off in chat if you want it. I think we need it. <laughs> no, they don't. People like the Yak because it's the Yak. I think people love when you lead the Yak. And I think you'll be a great one-two punch with Big Cat in Chicago. Um. Well, I appreciate that. You and but... Tommy, Francis. Uh, well, Sash doesn't want to do, I, which makes a lot of sense, actually. To not be on the same show five days a week with your co-host makes a ton of sense. I think just think about it, Ron. Just think about it. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. All right, love you guys. Yeah. Love you, Nate. All right, Nate. Interesting conversation. Yeah. 
KB, what are your thoughts on that conversation? Yeah, you made some good points. I'm never going to think no. about you guys ever again once I move. I know. It's going to rule. Just clear mind, throwing everything in the trash. Um, Let's get back to this skate talk. <laughs> yeah, I always enjoy the skate talk, too. Any textures and tastes. I've said enough. I've said all I know. I would like to learn more if possible. I just want to see a picture you know of it. if it's it. calorically dense? Do I want to see a picture of it cooked. About protein it? count. I assume yeah, I high in protein. It looked very muscular. It was light. Light in protein. It wasn't it was just like light. It was flaky fish. You, you could only get so much. It was like less um, output than crab legs at a time. You were really, really working on it. Oh, it looked wait. like the top right. Wait, is it all is it all sliced up like that? Does, it, does each part uh, come apart? You couldn't eat it with flake? a fork. You couldn't even rip it off with a fork. You had to use hand power. What? Yeah, because mm-hmm. the bone. What about a knife, though? And what was it? Fried, grilled. <laughs> it was grilled. Seasonings. What kind of seasonings? It was an amazing seasoning. Was there a crust Spicy. to it? Like, do you think that it was, it was dipped was in a batter? Def- um, the fish, no. But the Chicago st- office has a skate. <laughs> <laughs> have, like, chefs, fresh yeah, skate every fresh day. Skate. There's a petting zoo of skates. It's like the aquarium where you can just dip your hand in. Yeah, and that, there will be a live camera on that skate tank, uh, live streaming on uh, Barstool Aquarium. Yeah, the exact <laughs> 24 time you hours guys are doing live boy dad. Barstool Sea World. <laughs> that is actually that's out on socials now. You can go follow them. Yeah, yeah. They're under they're under culture because the black whale black fish. Yeah, a lot of brown <laughs> trout. <laughs> Heavy amount of brown trout in the mix, so you will be able to find that on culture. Yeah, we under culture, <laughs> dude. That's why I know I could never do a uh, like a drama show because that ju- it made me so uncomfortable. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that yeah yeah that was anytime I start cleaning my phone <laughs> case. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whenever Sass goes into this yeah. posture, <laughs> I was doing math in the calculator. <laughs> <laughs> and boobs yeah, upside yeah. down. Yeah, we can't. I could never that. do. We can't drama. do that again. I know. I'm fucking. I was like, ah, let me try this out. See what the. Oh my god. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, uh, Diego is he back there? Oh yeah, Diego. Diego, what's up, bro? Uh, what's good? Oh, Learning boys. the ones and twos back there. Why? Why? Why is it? Who? Who? Uh, How's it going? Who orchestrated yeah. this whole maneuver of you getting? Yeah, what are you up to? Behind the scenes learning. Uh, I'm learning from TJ on how to work the cans at a live show. Work. Wait, so cans is your Can, idea? like cameras? Uh, cams, cams, cams. Cams, sorry. Mm-hmm. Um, whose idea was this? Yours or TJ's? Um, well, I talked to Jake Pass about it. Um, just you know, potentially if Boy Dad is going to be twice a week, and if I'm still around, maybe I could help out. Does uh. Do you play video games? Do I play video games? Yeah. Uh, here and there. I feel like playing video games is really beneficial to cutting video. Is that true, TJ? Yeah, I feel like my instincts are higher because of it. Same. It's nice. like a big. It's like a big old video game. So for work, I'm gonna need you to play way more video games, Diego. Okay, I'll get on the sticks tonight. Put in the office, man. No Connect Four, just strictly Fortnite. <laughs> Fuck yeah! I heard that. We're actually, uh, I'm not going to say things I heard anymore until I know that they're true. Say it. I heard that Reed might be going to Chicago with you guys. Oh, I want to talk about it. I don't want to pressure <laughs> See, you made me say it. I didn't want to say it. How would know. I know that's what it is? Jeez. He's very talented, and I said he's been working hard out, for yeah. us. He got scammed out of, <laughs> he got scammed out of like $1,400. He took the bait on, a, on an apartment. <laughs> Wait, on what Facebook. do you mean? He got an apartment on Facebook. A, and then... He was talking to the guy on WhatsApp. Guy made him download WhatsApp. And he somehow convinced Reed to send him the money. Sell the money. No. First month's rent plus, like, security deposit. And Reed goes to this apartment apartment with, like, the <laughs> stick and bandana on the back of his shoulder. Straight off the back of the, the train. Yeah, and then he knocks on the door, like, and it's just, like, a family living there. It's like, no, nah, this is our apartment, dude. Yeah, and the guy blocked him on WhatsApp. No. It was WhatsApp. I mean... <laughs> He can't. Fourteen hundred though. We uh put out his Venmo yeah. address and he got his money back. Got his money Big back. Thank you to yeah. everybody Shout that watched. Everyone the who show. donated. Who? Reed. Reed. Wait, and then some. I think he got it. Yeah, man, I don't know. And then I don't know. So maybe he was in on the scam. That sounds like very white men can't jump. Like the. He yeah. was afraid to even say his Venmo. Yeah. So we gave him so many opportunities. He was like, I don't. Should he thought I? he was gonna get scammed yeah, gonna again. Get scammed again. <laughs> he will. He'll find he will, a way. Yeah, he will. 
he can, right he can edit, thing. he can cut videos, but boy, he you, you could scam him easy. Easy. Um, he's the, he's the goat. He or he worked well. He's the second best brother in his family. But he's a, <laughs> he's Tyler's a, the goat. Uh, no, I mean if he's just a stud. I told him uh, I'd talk to Big Cat if you'd ever want to consider it because I think I don't know what production people are headed out of Chicago. Facts. It's good. Facts. Sass big show coming up in Philly. Please buy oh, yeah. tickets. Did you sell out yet? I think Thursday is about to be sold out. And Friday early. It's sat Friday late and Saturday. Still need some work, but they'll get there. The crowd's gonna love you. Mm-hmm. You've done Philly before now. Oh yeah, best club in America. <laughs> Philly is. No, it really is. Better than Huntsville. Oh yeah. <laughs> the Philly Helium is such a good club. Why? After getting sent to Huntsville, do you ever like text your manager and like, what the fuck? Did you do that to me for? No, because you can't get a good weekend every weekend. It's just there's not enough cities. Why don't you just not do it one weekend? Got to get those reps in, bro. Okay. Got to get that cash. Reps in. Well, what percentage of the money you made from Huntsville is is it compared to what you usually make? Like, I don't know. Is it a lot lower? Or? Oh like, yeah, I make, you make any like thirty five k a show. <laughs> What's Huntsville giving you? <laughs> Yeah, he only made like twenty thousand. He made no money. <laughs> he only made twenty k. There's no it. money. Worth twenty it. bands. It was nothing. You should make your manager for that kind of money. <laughs> you should. No, make... I was. I, I made nothing in Huntsville. You should make your manager go with you to this ci- these cities that he books you in. It's like you want to come, or like you want to book me here. You got to come. Yeah, I don't mind. I mean, I, I don't mind going to those cities. It's fun. It's, it's cool it's... seeing places. No, I didn't see any of it. It's just not. It's cool <laughs> oh. to do your material in front of people who have no idea who you are. Yes, that's healthy. You have no vox paw over your manager if he books something. Are you, no, I could say no. Oh, but you you just you want, have no you vox popularly over your manager. No, uh, okay, no. Um, yeah, I want to go. As you want to go. You want to get yeah. the reps in. Yeah, nice. Veto power. It's like five hours of stage time. Yeah, we got to get you in a club in like Hawaii. Totally. What makes the uh, helium the best one? Low ceilings, pretty mm-hmm. packed, low stage. It's the lighting situation. Really bright on stage. Can Wait, why low see. stage? Why is low stage good? Because you're like right on top of the fucking, like you're like, you're, you're barely above the front row, which is what you want to be. It's very, very fun. I'm very excited. I heard special guests. Potentially special guests. Yeah, it's going to be Louis fun. CK. Louis CK, yep. <laughs> He's going to do his new hour. <laughs> Before or after you? Probably a little bit of both. Probably split it Same up. Same time? Yeah. 15, 15, 15, 15? Yeah. Just jump back and forth. Little bump in mics with CK. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. That's going to fucking... That's going to be sweet. Yeah, yeah definitely. I'm excited. Buy tickets. Excited to not have to fucking fly either. Just take the train or drive up. I think I'm driving up. Gardini. Nice. The guard dog. I did their podcast this week. Yeah, he told me. Suave. Yeah, T-Suave. 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 How'd you do? I don't... Uh, I had fun. Those dudes are hilarious. Uh, Gardenia and Big Chrissy. I love listening to all of the Barstool podcasts, but I also feel like it expands the brain a little bit to listen to different people's brand of comedy. And I just like their pacing and their voice. It's kind of there was a lot of uh, Big Mike talk. Big Mike? Michelle Obama. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't come up with that. So they, but I was saying that she always could always call her Big Mike. <laughs> she could bend the edge if she was a DN. Yeah. <laughs> sure, dude. If she, she like definitely has like Ben. She definitely has like Hassan Reddick. Oh yeah. Like Gardini always sixteen just sack capability. Her back. <laughs> yeah. She goes, look how jacked her back is. I kind of want to see. She's a you strong know, lady. She does uh, solid core. Her like secret service would come into solid core with her. Like really? they would have to do like the workout with her. Damn. But she would go to like a normal workout class. Imagine just having a regular workout class, and then it's the first lady in the corner, surrounded by three jacked social or uh, yeah. Yeah. service guys. Comfortable. Oh, wouldn't she just do that? Like, I feel like she could probably just get someone to come to her house and like train her for free or train her personally. Oh my gosh! The eagle. Oh, I thought you were looking at Dave. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> that definition. Yeah. Miss Olympia. Maybe is that what your back oh. looks like? Stronger or weaker? I don't. I've never looked at, at certain that. parts stronger. At certain t- parts I weaker. Start seeing. But you got better lats. Probably don't have as as or deep lats. of a chasm. Upper, whatever the pull ups give you, because that's all I do. Lats. That's how you get those wings, lats, brother. The wings. Deep lats. High away. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Give me the beat, boys. 
I gotta get this fucking thing away from me. No, I like it. I, like I feel it. like it makes you co- converse better. It's like when the therapist has like uh, little toys in the room so the children <laughs> will open up. <laughs> what kind of children need those? <laughs> special ones. Mm-hmm. The, the specialist sp- kids. The most special kids. You're the specialist. What is uh? What's the eagle doing in town? What's Presidente doing? I have a town? meeting with him later. <laughs> Talking future of the stool, future of the New York. To all of us except Nate (laughs) are going to be in there, so it's going to be sick. Things I need, stage, green screen. (laughs) Record (laughs) green. We have like so, we have 18 walls of green screen in here that no one ever uses. We have unlimited green screen space in here. What's the deal with the gadgets in New York? Not nearly enough gadgets. I also have bad news for you guys. How much basketball does he think we're going to be playing? <laughs> and how much golf simulator? <laughs> you smash a golf simulator like twice, and then it just like... yeah. Oh, yeah. And there, a new model comes out, and you never product. use it anymore. Yeah. I feel like the basketball court is almost just like uh, a, a, like a, oh, wow, kind of thing. Yes. Like, oh, you got this, too? Like when Brandon saw his yeah. new house, and he had to shoot in front of his two twin hot real estate agent ladies. Yeah. It's kind of like that. Get some shots up. That's Ask why him to touch rim. <laughs> and then if they could play basketball if they, yeah if they could dunk <laughs> remember when Brandon made that video being like I'll be able to dunk in, in one month from today and then he just never made the video again he was like this is a new series that I'm doing <laughs> I don't remember that at you all you don't remember that? Did yeah. that yeah he posted a video and he was like in one month from today I'll be able to dunk or I'll, be, I'll be able to touch rim or something like that and then he never did it again I remember that too yeah is it like a quarantine thing no nope. this was like eight months ago max miss that yeah yeah, then he realized that you can't add inches to your vertical leap in your 40s. Yeah. <laughs> you just can't do it. <laughs> that will, that does sure, not work though. Every episode, he gets further from Duncan. Yeah. Yeah. Gravity's working. But like, oh, how, how many times are we going to... Three months. How long ago was that? May. Of oh, so it was last year. over a year ago. Good God. Damn. All right, let's see the video. It's let's not feel watch that it. long at all. It. All right, Brandon Walker at the basketball park. I watched my I video last park. night of I miss him a lot. Miss him so bad. Yeah, me it was too. an athletic abomination, and I was embarrassed. You're talking to the 1997 slam dunk champion of West Point High School, one of the great dunkers to ever come out of West Point, Mississippi, and I can't handle that. So here's my promise. This is not a new show. This is not content. It's not, oh, so maybe you know, he did not it. any of that. It's just for my personal no. use here. I, I got to make wanted myself it to better. Be show. In three months from now, I <laughs> this will dunk is a, a pilot. basketball. Yeah. That's my promise to you. In three months from now, I will dunk a basketball promise. once again. Haven't done it since I was about 37, six years now. Haven't tried. So I'm going to see he where I'm at. He keeps putting right his now. arms in circles. Yeah. Go yeah. just go up and down. see how far I got to come. It might not be pretty. I haven't tried this. What is Zero shoulder mobility. Surprised he could pick him up over his head. Not great. Not great, Bob. Not <laughs> even great. the walk-off. Okay. The walk-off was bad. Even, I think you hurt him. How do you improve yeah. at that? It looks like, like he hurt everything in his body. Why is he jumping some, from so far <laughs> out? worse, yeah. <laughs> He's trying to do the MJ dunk. <laughs> where did he, Space where Jam. Did he jump from? <laughs> I <laughs> know what. <laughs> He's jumping from a mile away. Yeah, you probably could have got it. That looks kind of dope. <laughs> <laughs> that looks dope. That's still, that a still image where he's There's touching. One parcel. Looks dope. It looks Wait like a minute. Can we go back to his jump? Did he bend his legs at all? I don't think so. How did he do that? Okay, oh, yeah, I guess is. he did. There it is. He gets good air. He gets yeah, up. It's pretty surprising. But he's close to the rim as he's he is. so far, though. He has to be another, like, foot up. <laughs> dunk, yeah. <laughs> He saw that video office. and he's like, three months, I could do that. Oh. He'll be dunking in the Chicago office, though. Definitely. For sure. Everybody's going to be trying to record and people are just going to be bouncing balls. There's going to be so much dunking. We're all going to be able to dunk when we I know. <laughs> come back. So to much dribbling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the whole day. Yeah, just squeaking. Hopefully, like zero, hopefully, hopefully zero Blog 30 doesn't have any Vietnam vets in there. <laughs> Be a fucking nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we got a guest today. Yeah, he fought in Vietnam, twenty years, and a Real Jenga hero. tower just falls <laughs> over. <laughs> yeah, Nikki smokes playing horses, <laughs> <laughs> playing king of the court. Send him back. 
Mm. Yeah, they're going to have a trapeze in there with dudes getting fired out of a cannon. <laughs> Scaring the fuck out of them. It's going to be sweet. It's going to be extremely sweet. I think that just uh, people who have the proclivity to complain about things are going to complain. You never see me complaining. Sass yeah, does yeah. not complain. I bury that shit. Bury that Puts shit. it into his work. Down. Puts it into the fucking iron jungle. It's my craft. <laughs> and that's why you need a craft, honestly. Everyone here should have an art. Yeah? Mine? Just a microphone and a fucking speaker. That's all he needs. It's the purest form there Just is. Just a microphone and a stage. We should take apart these fucking couches and build you a stage totally guys i'm gonna need Your a art. stage in here <laughs> how come no one asked me if i needed a stage they built you a barstool uh because you didn't give him a stage <laughs> <laughs> i want it high too like i want you to have to squat because of the ceiling <laughs> just a high ass stage like a high school like a grade school play yeah <laughs> there's nowhere for me to perform in the office guess i'll go elsewhere it just needs to be an Apple box, man. We just need this guy to have his little soapbox so he can get up, tell his jokes. That would work, honestly. He really would. That's how sta- comedy clubs should be. There's a lot of clubs where that that's what the stage looks like. <laughs> that? Yeah. <laughs> like small, tiny clubs or like bar shows. They just have that as the stage. And you're like, what's the point of this? Could have worn those fucking things that you put in your shoes and it'd be the equivalent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's how, Comedy clubs should just be a big pair of shoes. Yeah. Pop those in. On a pair of Jordans. Yeah, it's just a nice platform shoe. Yeah, are those new? 550s? Oh, th- come on, bro. Don't play him. <laughs> I was, uh, yeah, everyone has these now. I know. You were new to them, though. You were early I on. I was them. mid. He was mid to them. You got them when they were, what, 400? What's that new style yeah, of shoe lot. that came out? Uh, do you guys watch? Dude, I don't know which fight was better this weekend. There were some good ones. The uh, the Jake Paul fight or the fight in Montgomery, Alabama? That was the best. That, that's my favorite internet video. Okay. From what was it? Was that the video of the, the boat? Boat. Yeah, the boat it fight. Was a race war. Race war, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was, was, there was chairs. Yeah. It was so it was, awesome. There was people falling in the water. It was so All the white dudes got arrested, right? I think some of the, the brothers did as well. I think they did, but uh, I think the white family definitely got arrested. I saw them all locked up. Yeah, I just love I just love a good brawl video and just the ensuing breakdowns that happen. The daughter of that family got knocked out three times in the one video. <laughs> I need to I need to watch this. <laughs> I, I, haven't, haven't, I never watched the, the blue full shirt video. got knocked out three times. <laughs> you you got to watch, and she kept going back. All right, this is the original. That guy was security guard. He throws the hat. That was badass. Oh, shit. He's just brawling the hell out because he worked for a bigger boat, and he was like, they need a spot to dock this fucking massive river boat. Oh, oh my people, God. Yeah. These people, waiting for this. Oh, shit. These people, he tried to move their boat, and they, they were like, some, no, you don't move our boat. some allies coming. Our family. There's one, one, and one's going to. And so he comes in a little ginger. One of his allies is going to swim to him. No. Really? I think so. so. Oh, oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this guy is swimming. The like Navy SEAL. Does this have all three parts? He is today? moving so slow. Yeah. He's we need, well. So he's <laughs> he's getting there. He's getting <laughs> yeah, I think he's out of out. breath by the time. But he by gets now, there. so many people. He doesn't even do anything when he gets to the right. dock. Is he naked? But he's just he's like fuck. No, he's fully clothed. The opposite of naked. <laughs> yeah. He's got khakis. I think on. he works on the boat. He works for the same company as White Shirt Guy. He's like, I'm gonna defend it. Yeah. And now the oh, second angle. The second Avengers angle. come in. The <laughs> Avengers come in, and that's the guys who just fought him. Slap. Oh, uh, where's the guy that swam? Okay, so mom yeah. is in light blue, and she's on the boat. But she'll come off. This turns into all out brawl. But then the sister in the blue shirt comes in. Are they ripping him. That's her first time getting knocked out. Oh, she got knocked out once. Okay. That's her first time getting knocked out. Her mom starts on mom, jump in. mom jumps in. Mom gets knocked out. Sister gets out of dodge. But then she sees mom is getting wailed on by boat employees. So blue shirt sister goes to defend mom. As cops in there. Oh, there she goes. goes back in. got pushed in. Pushed, pushed Somebody down. got pushed in. <laughs> yeah, we're just, wait, what's causing all <laughs> those? I thought they were drowning. I know. It's oh, my God. And then she's afraid to get back up because they're just going to peel her hands off. to get it again. 
Blue shirt's about. Oh, then these guys get oh. backed off. <laughs> Blue shirt gets back in the mix. Oh my Duffed God. out again. <laughs> How do these end? How does Wait, where are the chairs? Disperse. There's people coming with. I think everyone and that's the just gets third tired. angle is chairs. Yeah, the chairs. <laughs> BJ's. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah, people are getting arrested. Was, and then there's there is a third angle where someone's getting bashed over the head with. Yeah, it. can we get the chairs angle? Yeah, I would love to see the chairs angle. Those chairs were music. The one with WWE commentary, I think. The sound effects, Che, you know? It was just so, it was like, no one got hurt that bad. It didn't look like, it seemed like something. Yeah, like, that's, that's Blue shirt probably has brand damage. The yeah. chick or the guy that swam? Girl. The girl, yeah. Oh, she got punched in the head like a couple, of, a bunch of times and multiple. And then this is the. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> And then, bro, but he also goes over and get everyone's fault. she gets pushed down oh. and then popped on the head like a field mouse. And then he immediately gets arrested. They're like, no, no, no. No chairs. That's crazy. Nothing like a good old-fashioned race war. <laughs> By the water. <laughs> By the water, I mean. By the water. There had to be some people just with a cocktail watching like oh, a, yeah. a Civil War battle. It's yeah. <laughs> like with their yeah, picnic yeah. blanket. Well, I'll be. What else happened fight what combat wise? But uh Jake uh, Paul Union Square. Oh yeah, the Union guy Square. Said, I was la we were alive was last week happened. and yeah. uh the baseball player. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. He got he Ramirez, got his block right? knocked off. Yeah, him yeah. walking off. I was off. thinking about the psychology of that incident how that affects him. Badly because in baseball brawls it's usually just tackles. No one usually gets duffed out. Well, it's usually not a second baseman and a runner, right? Yeah, it's usually pitcher hitter. Yeah, not and they just they really squared up. Even yeah. the ref was like, "I'm gonna go ahead and get out of the way yeah. on this one." That was awesome. Wait, and what was the other? Oh, the Kai Senate. There was like people throwing plants at the fucking cops and shit. Yeah, that was good shit. That was PS5, good shit. Yeah. And did you guys watch the the Logan Paul? Did you guys yeah, or did. the Jake Paul? I mean, of course, I did not. Oh, oh I, was, watch, I watched Summer. Watch Logie. Yeah. I watched Jake. Jake was pretty good. I uh, woke up and only saw the last five, but they were entertaining. It was entertaining, for he sure. He has looked... I don't know what he was expected to do. They go 10 rounds? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nate Diaz is just so tough. Yeah. We're basically a fucking Joe Rogan episode now. Talking about yes. the combat sports. Stand up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are. What clubs are like... <laughs> yeah, the inner workings <laughs> of stand up. The architecture of a comedy club. Yeah, fuck. anyone gives the slightest fuck about that. <laughs> did you ever see when uh, uh, what the fuck? Tim Heidecker did. Uh, yeah, the Joe Rogan impression. Yeah, yeah, it's I twelve hours long. It's so oh, it's twelve hours. They get long? repeats a bunch. Yeah, he just looped oh. it, but it's just like the it's most so funny, so funny. It's really, Anal really funny. Did you see his? He has, he has his on cinema show, and the guy. His co-host was talking about the Play-Doh movie coming out. He said it's going to like rival Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's one of the most valuable properties. It's about to be a movie. It's going to rival Star Wars, Star Trek, <laughs> fucking Play-Doh movie. I heard his uh, his live show is hilarious, but he just like makes fun of stand-ups the entire time. It's I've seen it's, some clips. Yeah, that's what it was. I, I was really funny with Tim and Eric. Like uh, really college, high school. Yeah, obsessed. His stand-up is so funny. Tim's? Yeah. Yeah, it's just really, like, stereotypical jokes. Their uh, live shows together, like, their songs, they come out in, like, these flesh-colored suits with just giant dicks, and they just bounce it from knee to knee, like, <laughs> standing up. It's fucking phenomenal. The Rogan one, it's just it's just him, and he has those two guests. Yeah, and they really don't say anything. They're like, when was the first time we met? I think it was in the green room at the store. Was that the green room at the store? <laughs> just this, like, like yeah. nothing conversation. <laughs> like, remember Johnny? Oh, dude, strong guy and funny too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so. But just like so nice, <laughs> strong. And then yeah, like I mean, the one dude, watch he tries to make like a point about cancel culture or some shit like that. And, yeah, here. <laughs> it was this was that Vic Berger? Uh, <laughs> it's crazy. I was just talking to <laughs> uh, my producer rockers? here, and we were just kind of trying to figure out the last time we talked and it's actually been 
a while. Like it's been a couple years. Wow. I mean, I, wow. I talked to you guys offline and everything, but I'm talking like <laughs> having you guys on and getting into it. It's been like, it's been a minute. Wow. It really has. I mean, cause we were texting, uh, you know, all of this past week and sending things back and forth. Um, but it's good to be here. It's, it's so different in person. <laughs> How long has it been, man? It's been like what? I think they were saying it's been a while, like a couple of years. But wow. Wow. we're here now, so let's get into it. Uh, and it's been, I mean, a lot's been happening on your end, so we have a lot to get to. But it's been kind of a crazy, you know, what couple years. Well, a crazy couple of years, certainly a crazy couple of months, <laughs> say that again. which I'm sure we'll get into. <laughs> yeah. Well, I everything you guys have been doing has been outrageous and awesome and inspiring to me, and you guys are just killing it. So, oh my God. thank you, um, thank you, man. It's great, great that you're here, and we have so much to get into. But uh, I just wanted to start with that and welcome you and. Uh, uh, I should say we've got uh, Rajat Suresh here. I'm saying that correct? I don't want to be disrespectful. Oh, no, you know, man. Oh, the cancel, my... cancel mob's going to come down your throat, man. <laughs> dude, so... dude, they will. They will. That's, no. That's for real. That's for real. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if I don't get that right on the money the first time around, yeah. that, that's it. Like, oh, my God. Yeah. The shit that I will get. The shit that I will have to get yeah, man. for that. It's gotten crazy alone. out there. It's crazy. <laughs> It's gotten really and, crazy uh, out there. Well, we'll get to that. Okay. But uh, and Jeremy Levick. <laughs> yeah. Now, there's no problem with that. Jeremy Levick here, of course. <laughs> right. um, let's start like where I guess it makes sense to start. Like, how do I'm tr I was trying to think about like how I uh, first came across you guys? Like, it's I mean I know we go way back. Like, <laughs> it's so uh, fucking good. Like, oh, would, it, would it have been at the store? Like, what or would it have been like on the road? Like doing sets? Like where? Huh. Well, I wow. couldn't put it. It could have been the store. It might have been could the have store. Been right store. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I saw you in the green room back there one time, like before. Uh, that could be. That could be. It might have been before uh, Brewer went on. Yeah, I think because we knew you as, um, you know, Ken Collins' friend. And I knew. Well, yeah, Shit. you ran with him. <laughs> you're in the Collins. And when you yeah. run with him, heard... you know, you're really running. Yeah. <laughs> I have not heard that name in a long time. We're Ken Collins. Watch this <laughs> yeah, I could. Mind, I really this could too because it's so funny. But yeah, that's. Uh, easily I think that it like reloops after guy. like an hour or something like that. The fact that they are just able to have like the that vapid or like that level of conversation is hilarious. Brilliantly done. Fuck. Funny ass dudes. The fucking office is buzzing today. Yeah. Hey, what's going on? There's a buzz. There is a buzz. There's a buzz. You feel it. I feel it. Because <laughs> the freaking nose is back, man. <laughs> and when's the last time he was in here? A <laughs> couple months. Got to be a couple months by now. <laughs> Jay, I can't believe you have pie this weekend again. That shit was truly yeah, fucking... Pie. Oh. Two weekends in a row. Non holiday pies, unplanned. I could not believe that. Weekends in a row. <laughs> Crazy. Kyle, did you eat anything weird this week? I had uh, <laughs> skate fish <laughs> at, the, at the fish market yesterday. It's a like a it's mostly cartilage, very hard to eat. From Have a, you guys ever had a skate pie? From a functional standpoint. Yeah. Um, it's British as hell sounding. Skate pie? Yeah, they probably put like the very, worst fish possible in a pie. Very American. So the skate, skate fish it was so hard to eat. you couldn't you couldn't even use a fork. It's, it's just like a traditional fish off. though, isn't it? It's like a no, no. Opposite. So you, the skate fish is actually it resembles uh, like a stingray. It's it's a ray. So are there, you eating the bottom part, or is it just like the wings? It's, it's like um, it's like white fish. Are like you eating crab the, meat? Are you eating the smile? You see how stingrays like smile? It's okay, very cute. Right. It's not a stingray. Uh, <laughs> you just said it was like a stingray. All right. Very, very common misconception. It is actually not a stingray. I know it's not. <laughs> Can you eat a smile? <laughs> oh, yeah. You I mean, mean, have you seen the stingray, stingray smile? You mean it's mouth? so cute. You've never eaten well, yeah. a smile? <laughs> oh, the smile's the best part. Can you eat a mouth? Or are we just thinking of a mouth as like the void? You could probably eat, you could eat lips. It's like a lap. Jay, you eat lips. Look at that. <laughs> All the time. 
all the fucking time I do. What did you do for Metallica? Oh yeah, I forgot you Substance went to Metallica wise. twice. Yeah, are you hung over? So uh drinking beers, no. smoking no. cigs. Yeah, no, I was having a good time. Uh you, had, you smoked ciggies? I did yesterday, yeah. Just one. How was it? It's delightful. <laughs> I gotta text my mom after is are you are you a secret smoker? No, I'm just just doing it to cause a little ruckus online. I thought, I thought Asian cultures were more into smoking. You put back. Oh, they are. Yeah, they love cigarettes. Like you would have made her proud as hell. <laughs> what were you smoking? Spirits, Marlboros, Newports, Camels. Uh, it was a menthol. I don't know what kind, but it was my first ever menthol. Interesting. They suck. That doesn't what a rush on the lungs, huh? Not not good Very for. Very interesting. Catch a buzz from it? Not really. I don't think I was really doing it right, to be honest. How the boys in Metallica sound? Good, good, real good. They did. Two hours fifteen on like Friday, and then a little over two hours last night. A lot of hits. Didn't do encores either night, but James' voice okay. hold up. Yep. Wasn't flat like a skate. <laughs> skate fish. It wasn't James Hetfield sounded incredible. Top songs. They played the number one song I wanted to hear yesterday. Memory remains. They played Enter Sandman last night, which is awesome. Mm. Uh, Does ha- his, vo- his voice is still strong? Yeah. It doesn't tail off like a skate fish. How does, how does Enter Sandman go? Enter Night, Exit Light. Yeah. Enter Light. That type of shit. Yeah, they're naturals. Yeah, they closed with that last <laughs> night. How many beers did you put down? Like a fuck ton? Or no, just... not too many because I drove both nights. So, so first night, like two. Exactly. Second That's night, enough. like three. Just enough to get the job done. Three and a half. Three tall boys? Tall boys, yeah. Jeez. Three tall boys and a drive home? That's that was like, sixer. That no, was like equivalent. five hours Five hours in between. Damn. Oh, they Jay? were like 16 ounces or 18, whatever. 18 ounce beers and then a drive home. Talk and a ciggy. Night. Talk about a perfect night. You must have been swimming. No, I had popcorn. <laughs> little oh, sausage okay. and peppers. Yeah. Yeah, Follow the line in the middle of the road. Yeah, it was a good time. One of, that was the number one band I wanted to see live that I hadn't before. And they did not disappoint. What's the new number one? Sting. Mm, no. Ray Charles? Ray Charles. <laughs> Let me uh. <laughs> Stevie mm. Ray Vaughn? <laughs> Mm, new number one? I don't know. I mean, they're co- they're going to Chicago next year, so I'd like to see them there. No, no, no. Oh, just Metallica again? Yeah. It doesn't count. Chili Peppers. You've seen I've, them, though. I've seen them many times, Who's yeah. your new number one? That I haven't seen? Any young cats that you've been like keeping up with? I don't think I know any new music after like 2014. Mm-mm. What about on your TikTok, Algo? That's where all the new music's bubbling up anyway. Is that true? Any like song, any like song or sound you hear is probably just a new song that's on the charts. Oh, the Margarita song. Yeah, Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> no. <laughs> I like Jimmy Buffett. I'd see Jimmy Buffett. There you go. A TikTok alg- algorithms all just slideshows of best sex doll porn stars. <laughs> what, dude? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened. You yeah, can like, buy I, sex dolls that I are know porn stars. I think Mook has the login as well. Oh. <laughs> That's a, yeah, they make posting? like they make like fleshlight molds of porn stars' vaginas. How the fuck would anybody know that? They've been like, doing that since the, the '90s with Jenna Jameson. Yeah, you can buy their pussy. Yeah. How do you what? clean stuff like that? I think you boil it in water. Yeah, like like a like a mouth guard. paintball gun. Yeah. Throw it in the dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> oh. They can clean off a corrugated steel uh, skillet. They can clean <laughs> off your floppy rubber dildo. You just throw it right in the dishwasher? Oh, yeah. <laughs> My flashlight's like a cast iron skillet. Oh, yeah, you season it. <laughs> <laughs> Is this pre-seasoned? <laughs> it smells like someone cooked fish on this. <laughs> I skate fish. <laughs> I had it last night. How was that? It was unique. Yeah? It was more unique than it was good or bad. But I think it was, it was good. Were you full yeah. afterwards? Yeah, because I had 10 chicken wings. Okay. Yeah. The, the skate I wouldn't fill you up. No. I couldn't get enough off. Is it like a dipping sauce? You like have like a soy or, or it was ginger? a crazy sauce that went along with it. That was the best part. <laughs> Those are capers on it. And with which like, one did oh, it man. look like? Was it raw? <sighs> was it grilled? Sometimes all you need is a lemon. I I, I, could you survive off of it, skate or die? Would you be able to live off of it? 
If you had to go skate or hummus, <laughs> you'd have one to live off of forever. Which one do you that's think you could live off question, of better? That's a question, and that's mm. such an equal, like... They're equal. Two equals. I think you'd have to go skate. Skate, fish, meat. I would have to get the meat from the skate. But the chickens oh, <laughs> also have protein. <laughs> Pause, bro. Oh, you'd have, have to, to get, get the, the meat, meat from the skate fish? <laughs> Ew. Okay, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're yeah. getting I always forgot about the chickpeas. Yeah. Gross. I got to see a fucking skate fish's meat now. I'm on keto right now. You are? Yeah. For how many days? Uh, Two hours. Okay, not bad. You got a, you, Have you peed on the strips yet? No. I had a bunch of extra strips when I left my last apartment. I threw them out. I would have br- brought you know them. You strips? Yeah, I would have brought them. Does it say if you're in ketosis or not? I think so. Very interesting. They were completely full. I don't so think that's like a state them. of mind? Yeah. <laughs> that was like in your blood. It's like an empire state of yeah. mind. Apparently once you enter ketosis, you just start shedding off pounds. Yeah. But it's also terrible for you, right? It's hard to get into. Yeah. I got a I got a friend who's in uh, ketosis right now. He's lost forty pounds. What? Yeah. <laughs> What's his name? Derek Drescher. Oh, good for him. Friend or? Yes, good friend. A lot of people are losing weight. Oh, a lot of people are mm-hmm. making it look easy. But after that Lizzo uh, shit, we found out not cool to be fat anymore. No, it was cool for a little bit. But not that you find out that they're all dicks. Yeah. <laughs> Fucked. Have you been in the gym? No, not on keto either. No shit, dude. Have a nice healthy dinner and breakfast, though. Would you have yeah. skate? Skate, believe it or not. Oh my god. Skate sandwich, though. Much easier to eat. Yeah, yeah. It would like be. A That's actually. Boy? Yeah, wait, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna look that up. I feel like a po- skate po- boy would be nice. Oh yeah. Fried skate. Damn, that sounds nice. No, I don't know. I had some. I did some rice and salmon last night. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, you must be really self-conscious about how your body looks. A little edamame as well. Oh, there's a skate sandwich. At Latuna, Lieutenant Ahuna. (laughs) Lieutenant Ahuna, that's got to be Hawaiian, right? I love a good fish sandwich. Same. Like a blackened fish sandwich tonight. Mm. Really? Mm -hmm. Homemade sandwich. Huh? Homemade? No. Dumb question. Yeah, because you can't cook fish inside. Do fish in in a New York apartment? Apartment. I've done that a hundred times. Yeah, and your pillow probably smells like fucking underwater. Dude. Oh, the odor. I forgot about the odor. I took a shower, skate, still smell all my fingers. Yeah. <laughs> still? Watch the new season of Black Mirror. Oh, yeah? What'd you think? I watched only one episode. And Interesting. It, was, it got a lot of hate, but I loved it. I thought it was good. Which episode? No striking vipers, but it's Lock good. Lock Henry. It was spooky as fuck. It was like scarier than any scary movie I've seen in a while. What's the episode about? There's a new, there's a couple new a scary Scottish movies out right now. Scottish murder documentary. Mm. There's like a Insidious, a new Insidious out, and then there's a new A24 movie. Yeah, that looks good. Looks good, but it's only the in hand. theaters right it's now. It's made by YouTubers. Whoa. Really? The scariest people of all. The Rocka yeah. Rocka twins. Australian? Yeah. The Rocka Rocka twin. Not Rocka Rocka Alley. That's okay. That's Different cool. YouTuber. The Rocka Rocka twins. Is Mr. Beast... I thought Mr. So I I saw this morning that Mr. Beast is being sued for like $100 million, but I thought he was suing them. He'll probably counter sue. Is it like a back and oh, forth? If I know Jimmy. Sue each other? Who's he suing? Some. I guess it's like the whole... The people that distributed the Mr. Beast burger, I guess it was not up to quality. And he's got, he's got a class action lawsuit against him? I think, right? TJ, are you familiar? Yeah, you just gotta be careful here because they also yeah. do part of my cheese stick. Oh, okay. So we know which side we're on. I didn't know that. I mean, I don't know how I would know that. But we know exactly which side we're on. Obviously. Fuck Mr. Beast. Fuck him. <laughs> he sucks himself <laughs> off a egg. lot. No, we're oh, on his side. Sucking. We're on his side? Yes. Oh. Oh, okay. fuck. Oh, yeah. The same people that do the... He's one of the most I don't talented. think we are. Yes, we are. No, I don't the think same we're on Beast's that... side. I think he's going against our side, brother. He is? <sighs> Wrong. Damn it, I need something. They're in trouble. I just got an email from Blackman. <laughs> God damn it. Tell me what you said about Beast isn't true. <laughs> <laughs> A part of we're on his side, don't you? God damn it. I tried to save you, but you were past the point of saving. I'm a born idiot. Fuck am I gonna do, man? Yeah, and you <laughs> people think you could lead us. <laughs> yeah. Fucking lemmings. Yeah. Lead, lead us. us off a cliff. 
And daddy work like a mule selling Park County. No, that would be a, a smart. No, like you'd be much happier. Like now you travel and have delicious foods and make comedy. You should start. You should stop doing that and start firing people. <laughs> kind of guilt at you. And <laughs> have it, you have to do that now. I felt no guilt. Yeah, it's a, and it's such a blessing for for the company to not be power hungry. Fewer power hungry people is so much better for everybody. Yeah, I'm trying to take over this bitch. Yeah, and sink it. It's the first thing you do. Oh man, basketball court, obviously in New York. Mm-hmm. I thought you were trying to sink it, not make it the greatest content factory of all time. Jesus Christ. Picture this, a basketball <laughs> court with no cameras. Again? I know, I got to piss too. I have to pee too. We'll take shifts. I call second. Sorry, Nick. Damn it. No Sorry, shoes, I Nick? I just won't talk. New shoes, Nick? <laughs> uh, no. Nice look at these little ones. You all packed up, brother? Yeah. Yeah? I am. How's it looking? <laughs> Good. I guess good. How's your packed up stuff look? <laughs> Fucking, it looks sick. Good boxes. You guys gotta come over. What kind of boxes are you working with? We got the you Amazon, all... just the moving pack. The Amazon so classics. Like, uh, Sixteen boxes, tape, and uh, a marker. Very nice marker is very important. And instead, <laughs> little fun I was having because you know you okay. know about the little. You gotta fun. have okay. fun while moving. Uh, I'm all ears. Like little victories. Let's say this box had my shoes. Instead of writing shoes, I would draw a picture of a shoe. Very. Very creative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very now that's funny. Yeah. I really like that idea. Uh, I had a little box that have my hats. I'm going to go out on a limb and say, I think you drew a hat. Drew a hat on it. What did you do for the sock box? I, I don't have a sock box. Fuck. Not yet. Are you bringing your socks? You have a whole box for socks? Roan has so many socks. I've never seen more than the same pair twice. I no. throw them out immediately. It's a good idea. I'm trying some grays right now. Not your style. I'll be the first to say it. Fuck. Should have gone whites. Gray on white, it's like, guy, what are you thinking? Shut up. <laughs> Just worry about you. White on black looks like that Charleston or the <laughs> that Montgomery fight. Yeah. What side would you guys jump in on if you were there? Definitely the culture side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, you know the drill for me. <laughs> you know I'm on the culture side. Would you rather be on the hunting side or the culture side? <laughs> <laughs> so the two genres we have here. Oh, God bless America. And there's no way to combine it. Oh, no. No crossover can happen. Traylon Burks, the... Hottest guy on the Titans. Hottest guy on the Titans, receiver who was picked in the first round last year. You think there's somebody hotter on the Titans? Tannehill? Tannehill's not hotter. I agree. I think Traylon Burks is the hottest. Like, physically? Yeah. Yeah, He runs hot. No, he's the ho- best looking. He's the hottest dude. Oh. Ooh. Now that Maybe. Dennis Kelly's off the team. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll have to go, go through the roster. I'll, I'll go, go through, through the roster. roster. We'll come back to it. But he... Uh, uh, think uh, give it. us your top three. Go through the whole roster Kay. in picture form. And hottest then. Titans. I will we'll do the same. Well, why don't we just pull it up right here? Yeah, let's pull it up. We know the answer. It's Traylon Burks. He's a culture guy that does hunting. He, will Levis is a handsome devil. He boar hunts now. That more than Traylon Burks. No. Now we know which side that he'd be fighting. Yep. On. Um, but he boar hunts with a knife and a dog. He That's he hunts wild he boars from? with just a knife. I think Arkansas. Who the fuck is Z's Al Shair? <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? He's a good All player. Right. He's been in the Niners. Levis. So I think Tannehill oh. should be in the conversation. Yeah, he could. He could potentially He's in the, be top three. He's in the conversation. Julius Chestnut. Kevin kind of Byer, it's way better looking than um, Traylon Burks. No. Yes. No, no. Keep going. Yeah, you're wasting my time. Yeah, thank you, TJ. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, Traylon. Oh, Ooga. Best line. Gavin Holmes. Oh, D-Hop. No, no. Got good bone structure in the face. Yeah. I'm not seeing any Reggie, no. Nick, no. Let's get past the line. (laughs) No, no. (laughs) 
Yeah. Yeah, he's got. All right, let's see oh, on the defense. Defense. Not he's not even top three. Traylon Burks is it? Top three it? on the team? Yeah. You sound so. You don't know football. Oh, whoa, whoa. Who's that? Who's Chance Campbell? Mm. Okay, no. Nah, no. Nah. Traylon's got him. But you get where I was coming from. I get where you're right? coming from, for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, who's Mont- Monty Rice? Monty Rice. Is this like a thing? No, no, no. <laughs> People think Traylon Burks is like really hot? I don't know. No. Oh. There's a guy who does TikToks and he has his uh, girlfriend rank the hottest player on every NBA that's team. What, that's why, yeah. And he mm. picks it as well. They're very funny. They're hilarious. I'm good. Went away. <laughs> Evaporated. Okay, so who oh are your God. top three then, Che? Uh, Levis, Kevin Byard, and who is the guy down here? No, bro. Trayvon Wesco. No. I'll be the you guy. Levis yeah. is not hotter than Traylon Burks. By a lot. You're you're factoring in that he's a quarterback. <laughs> Shit, dude. By a lot. By a lot. You're thinking about him as a quarterback and a B mock, not as a just a handsome guy in the wild. No, I'm just looking at faces. Well, I think that we have to bring in some some ladies oh, on this one. Ladies and gays. Though. I might be with Che. You looking at Levis? Levis? Not, like disappointed. Traylon, Traylon Burks doesn't even like that good looking. If we're being real. Pull up a photo of Traylon. Pull this shit up. Please. What I'm, team I'm are going we talking off about? Yearbook photo. You, you I'm, and are, I'm going off. You guys are glazing. Shit. No, we're not glazing. Glazing. Yeah. So who's better look? You say, you think Levis is better looking? Levis, Kevin Byard, and uh, Trayvon Wesco. I'm asking I KB now. A, I don't oh. know. Does, does he have like look at his light. Eyes? He has light eyes. Yeah, that's a good pick. <laughs> his line is perfect. He has light eyes, dewy skin. He's fucking jacked he's out the wall. He's super jacked. dewy. 6'2". He's, yeah, he's like 6'2", like, 230. Uh, he's not like Odell Beckham, though. Yeah, well, he's Beckham. not on the Titans. He's got a bit of a unibrow. <laughs> What's he's wrong not with like Hurts. Hurts is super yeah, fly. Is he's not like Hertz Travis like Kelsey. Hurts is a 9.5. He's a 7. Okay. A 7 is a, the team leader. Right. So you <laughs> yeah. think Bayer more than him? Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Yes, yeah, yes. Five uh, eleven. Yeah, okay. Oh my Levis, Levis, stop, no. stop, stop. Not even. Close. And I love Levis. He's a best of Penn State guy. Levis is just an average Joe. Dude, Levis is a handsome guy. Yeah, he's pretty handsome. That's not a guy that you would see and you'd be turning heads though. With his frame, he's not probably. cracking necks. But but same with Traylon Burks' frame. Traylon Burks has a better frame than Levis. Right. Dude, all these guys are super jacked, so I don't think it's like you can even take that out of it. I'm Jack's just going off headshots. Jack's not in right now. Jack doesn't trust me. <laughs> How about eight inches and thick? Yeah. <laughs> like that skate last night? Ooh. Sheesh. Oh, fuck the skate, yeah. dude. I, oh, I guess sexual. Wait a minute, the skate. Wesco? Look at his ears, dude. Look at his nose, dude. Who's, who's talking about Wesco? This guy looks like the weekend's okay. like deformed older brother. I have a slightly different picture of Wesco. Bank ass last name. I've been playing with myself still. What? More Same. videos have emerged. Oh, yeah, I know. Fucking with my shit in my uh, pocket. Wait, what do you mean? The guy just jerking like off. It. You're always on the piece. What do you mean playing with yourself? He's just touching well, his Also, clips. I'm and just the focal point is me. Readjusting? Touching my shit. Or you're just readjusting. I mean, I think, I don't know. There's a kid I went to grade school with that would just be like, readjusting and fucking let everybody know. I think that we... If, if you have to readjust, you have to readjust. There's no shame in that. I think it's important to call out, though, to let everyone know, hey, I'm not masturbating right now. Yeah, readjusting. Yeah, yeah readjusting. I'm soft. <clears throat> readjusting. Fully soft, fully soft, readjusting. Here's also the guy that would be like safety. Oh, he yeah. Would fart, or like doorknobs. Hey, what was the safety thing for? I forgot about that. Safety Farting. was you couldn't, no one could call shit on you. Oh, yeah. It was yeah. like you could fart with impunity. And what was doorknobs? You, you call a doorknob on someone before they called safety. And then you go punch them. Right. Yeah, socializing was just permanently being cautious of getting hurt physically. Because <laughs> you could get your yeah. nuts smashed. You could Any get school. With no slaps or spikes. Room, the football field, anywhere, you're going to get hurt. Which is, that was us just guys being guys. Mm. And now you Not look at the this case next generation. Yeah, come on. This next generation doesn't have any of that. Nope. Bunch of goddamn softies. Yeah, look around. Ordering fish that's easy to eat. <laughs> can't rip through a skate with their bare hands. 
How much strength did you have to use? Like what percentage? It was. I had to fucking tug and tug just what to muscles get were like you engaging them? pulpy, just pieces of pulp out of it. Really? Good thing you've been yeah. practicing every single day on the yak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tug. Ball, balls have a, should have evolved to not stick to the leg. Oh yeah, mine stick. Mine are stuck right now. Man should be able to produce a natural talc. <laughs> yeah. Oh, a powder. Mm-hmm. It's a great feeling though, unsticking them. Sure. Well, so do you, do balls sweat because they they overheat? I don't know. That's got to be it, right? Because you're they're nervous. I wonder how the Europeans do it, because they're always they they have to be the stickiest, because they're in the the tight denim shorts, the tourists. Oh, maybe the tight yeah. shorts are are to create. And all they do is drink coffee and smoke cigarettes. They're yeah. probably just sweating constantly. And, and they their ass crack. Yeah, and their shit isn't even cut. Mm-mm. Oh yeah. Rector's yeah. edition. Yeah. Maybe that's what schmegma does. They're putting down like 400 milligrams of caffeine and then just ripping, then chain smoking cigs. Yeah, with tight ass jean shorts that are still cuffed. Yeah. I've been seeing tons of European tourists wearing like American flag gear and shit like that. It's like, brother, you're not fooling anyone. Yeah. You think you're going to get one past me? I know you. Europeans wear shoes that are the exact size of their foot. <laughs> yeah, they do. They're like, <laughs> the, like perfectly the exact size of their foot. <laughs> Hardly no wiggle room. Gone. Grink, grink, grink. Squeaky ass fucking European shoes. The polo shirt with the American flag on the sleeve. It's not your country, brother. I'll go to Brazil wearing the fucking Brazil flag. They're also super perverted, and they're like proud of it. It's it's pretty interesting. Italians especially. Italians. French. Italians, French. Anywhere you'd like to go on vacation, they've made their bones by being pervert countries. Oh, yeah. Germans are like mean and perverted. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a good podcast name. Mean and perverted. <laughs> now it's time to get extremely mean. <laughs> That's the way for girls. What? Being mean as hell online. What what type of mean you mean? Guys too. Everyone's mean. Yeah. That's if true. you take breaks from Twitter, then go back on, you're like, wow, this is a mean fest. Oh yeah. Everyone's. Everyone's hating. A lot of haters these days. Even the good people, even like the funny people, they'll they'll like tell you what to hate and how much to hate. Yeah. And it works. I'm like, oh fuck, I'm mad too. <laughs> yeah. And you're like a little bit embarrassed that you don't hate yeah. hate that thing as much. It's yeah, like, oh fuck, I was supposed to be hating that. I was fuck, hating fuck. the inverse, and they tell me, no, you got to hate this, and I'm like, yes. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Everybody's mean and mad. They just need to help. New York office redesign. It'll be better. <laughs> All will be good. That shook me up. Here comes Prez. Should we ask him about the New York office? What he thinks? Yeah, let's ask him. What about the Miami office? Yeah, what's ever happened with that? I thought Clemmer was supposed to go down there. A little bit to lose in that. L.A. office with Lowe. Is Lowe out in, in L.A. permanently? Yeah, he is. Like an apartment. Living there. Interesting. So what, is he going to fly back to Chicago or New York to do the dozen? Or was the dozen? The dozen's always been over Zoom. Mostly over Zoom, yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. Very, very interesting. Sass, how do you like your new desk? I haven't even seen mine. Damn. Wait till you see it. I heard someone else moved in on it, though. Like a little hermit crab. Yeah. I've been sitting at KFC's. Really? Yeah. Don't tell him. He's going to be pissed. I'm going to tell him. I know. Oh, anus is still under comedy. Is it? For now. For now. You guys are going to learn how to use a bow knife. You guys are going to fucking hunt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got to get out of comedy. A little knife chain. Oh, yeah, you bought that knife chain. The fuck? Yeah. What the hell? Where'd you get that from? Zoom in on that. Street fair. Where at? Which one? Was it a bazaar? Is it dull as hell? Like that thing. <laughs> Psych, yeah. It's not my wave. <laughs> that sake almost had me, had me craving everything. Yeah? It's crazy. When you get back to booze, it's like, I want it all. That's what... Started we, zinning yeah. again. Yeah. Started sweating hard again. Yes. How do you feel, though? Skipping showers, skipping workouts. Skipping the cold showers. It's crazy how much... They- my cold showers aren't cold enough. My whoop is I'm telling me I'm not even getting my stress level. Isn't even going to the mid level. I'm, I'm on the same boat. It's we need we need some plunges. I think. I heard Chicago's coming. No, but I do need a plunge badly, dude. 
because I didn't, uh, but I mean, it, I didn't cold shower for, and it was like the first day that I like sweat profusely all summer. Right? Yes, it changed everything. And even if like people get pissed, like, dude, stop talking about cold showers. Fuck off, dude. I need to to make myself feel yeah, better dude, about it makes, myself. It makes me happier, and I'm trying to spread that. Wait, Mr. Sparky has blue eyes. No, he doesn't. No. What? Solomon Islands. I swear to God, I had no, a I had a deep conversation with him the other day, and he has blue eyes. Does he con- converse without singing? Yes, yeah. he was like, how how can I get to the paper? The Did paper? Him? Oh. He was like, when will Barstool start paying me? Oh, he wants a contract. Uh-oh. Does he have? We could do like social a freelance. Media. That's what I. That's what I said. I was like, yeah. you got to be open to to multiple things. I was like, what are you looking for? He wants that bag though. But then I saw he had blue eyes, and I was like, he might fucking get it. Mm-hmm. He might get that bag. I think we could put together like fifty bucks in appearance. <laughs> I mean, he's only in here for like two minutes at a time. That's pretty good. Fifty. I know. What does that extrapolate to per hour? Thirty times. A lot. Six thousand dollars an hour. Six hundred dollars an hour. Get it? We could. Six thousand. We're not. What if we told him we could pay him six thousand dollars an hour? I think he'd be into it. But look at his eyes; they're blue as hell. I. Uh, I will. They're bluer than yours, honestly. Doubt it. No, they. I swear to God, they are. You got blue eyes, Nikki? You kidding me? I thought you had browns. I thought you had cultures. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. You oh, those are haunting go. eyes. You never gazed <laughs> into those beautiful blues. Damn, you do got beautiful blues. Thanks wait, us. wait, wait till you see Mr. Sparky's though. Well, his the the it's a better shade of blue. No, than no, it's his just a better the, shade of blue. Yours is more gray to it. His is a pure. His pop more. <laughs> yeah. Damn, Nick. What the fuck? You look tough though. You do look tough as hell. Thanks, guys. Angry. I've been. You have? Yeah. Been running Nate's Twitter? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I just want to tweet about it. But don't ask any questions. I what know. Why wouldn't he tell us? He knows what he's doing. He fucking... You can't act like... He flipped like it on you. Yeah. You can't act like... A, I know. What an audible. Crazy move. But you can't act like you want the pot stirred, and then it's like, okay, air your grievances. No. <laughs> gonna say i would do that oh me too but you wouldn't act like you I want the pot st- but you wouldn't act like you want the pot stirred i've never no, heard you no, be no. like we need someone around here to hold motherfuckers accountable no because you know you'd be first in line to be held accountable <laughs> hell no lately i've been do you guys go to chicago sleep. tomorrow yeah yeah they have the show from out there tomorrow good shit early at my apartment early yeah too you're gonna look at your apartment, or you already have it. I have, I'm, I have it. Oh, I'm nice. I heard you got a basketball court in there too. Uh, half. On out, oh, yeah. on out and about, Pat was talking about you showing him your apartment and, and that it ruled, that it looks fucking amazing. Oh no, I've been showing him. Uh, <laughs> uh, I showed him one that's not mine. Just was like really, yeah, like nine thousand dollars a month. <laughs> yeah, he he reported that as if it were the exact news. All I do is fuck with him. Every time, like, I always send him, like, uh, scales, Amazon links to, like, weight scales. Like, I try to, I'm gaslighting him to think he's fat. (laughs) I mean, he is. Oh, no, he's big. in Chicago must be a massive apartment. Yeah. It's crazy. That's what you can get Michael Jordan's house for. Yeah. Nine racks. Mortgage-wise. Yeah. 30 year. This shit is just on fucking Zillow normal. It's just sitting there on Zillow. MJ's? Yeah. I wonder what the vetting process is for like going to the open house, though. Yeah, I don't know. Some people might have uh, I'm sure you can ideas. just go. There's no way. I didn't want to say. Uh, he's purposely not looking at us. No, you got you got him. Oh, I think I have him. God damn it! I had him for a second, but I lost him. You guys say hi to Dave when he came in. Yep. I haven't seen him yet. Seen him. I'm sure we'll catch up. He came the in shit. with a rolly suitcase. I gave him a fist pound. We didn't have to say much. No. Well, well, well. Look what the <laughs> fucking cat dragged in. Aren't you a sight for sore eyes? <laughs> <laughs> Come sit your ass down. It's like we never catch up anymore. <laughs> catch up. Let's the catch 411, up. DP. Hit me. Oh, my God. We're so busy these days, man. I feel like we never just get to chop it up. 
When am I coming out to Montauk? Thinking about bringing the kids out there for a weekend. Just let them run around. You know how it is. <laughs> the youngest is just really uh, just so much energy right now. Did I show you pictures? I showed you pictures, right? I showed you my youngest, right? Dave Jr. <laughs> <laughs> young, young page views. <laughs> the youngest little page views. I hope to have some page views myself someday. Hope to have a couple page views running around. Y'all, stop. The kids never get to see their uncle. <laughs> <laughs> They're asking. Keep on asking, where's Uncle Davey? Tell him he's busy. When's the last time any of you three got on the floor and played with a child? <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't even know if I ever have. No. My boy Cleve brought over his two kids. Those two rascals. Yeah. And I was Cleave. playing with them on the floor. There's a, there's a lot of Cleve sto- stories you've told, but a lot you haven't either. Yeah. Who the hell is Cleve? It's like my best friend growing up. Did he, uh, get, did he like go under a semi-truck? Nope. Okay. <laughs> like the first Fast and the Furious movie? I think uh, I thought that was him. Like a car accident? Or yeah. The, like in the movie under Speed? That survived because they went under a semi-truck. Uh, Maybe ask him. Really? I think he might have. Maybe you should. Have, maybe you don't know him as well you t- as you think you do. I was like, you don't know Cleve. I know. Me and Cleve have matching tattoos. Matching swastika tattoos. Yeah. <laughs> this would be hell of ironic. It would be. It would be. Oh, is he Jewish? Yeah. Nice. Oh, he's black. Oh. So his first name's Cleveland. Yeah. Can't be a white guy named Cleveland. True. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't make the rules. I'm just reporting what the rules are. You just follow him. All right, city names, white or black. Boston. White. What do you mean? No, like Mr. Four I mean, families? Yeah, like no, for, no, a, for a person. For a person. Like their first name is Boston? Because Mr. Boston, remember Mr. Yeah, Boston? but Boston Scott. I think it's more white, though. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Austin or, yeah. Austin, white. New York. Black. 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 Woman, though. <laughs> Like I love New York, the lady, Lil the Rock, New York. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh fuck, Duluth. <laughs> Duluth is isn't white. Um, Des Moines. <laughs> Des Moines. <laughs> The Moines is definitely black, yeah. it's black. but it's like uh, it's like W E Dubois black. Yeah, <laughs> the boys, I should say. <laughs> Charleston, black. black, black. Rochester, neither. I think white, like fam- oh, like oh yeah, yeah. Rochester, welcome home, sire. Huntsville, thank you, Rochester. White, obviously. Yeah, mm. I mean Hunt is in the name. <laughs> this is for uh, I think of more cities. St. Louis. Saint is black. What about Lewis? Could go either way. This is more white. Phoenix white. Yeah. White girl. Yeah. Famous uh, New York. Uh. Oh boy! All right. Eagles left the nest. All right, boys. Now we <laughs> let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> everybody was else. in today. Every it was fucking packed in here today, except for Gazzo. Back to the gills. Speaking of what? <laughs> <laughs> uh. You should get a crew of people that just have a city names. I want to get one forever. Of some, who are the most famous? There's Austin, Darius Hilton, Brooklyn oh. Decker, Brooklyn, Decker. Austin Mahone, Austin Butler. I think it's so funny when people say Paris, France. <laughs> oh, yeah, that doesn't sound right at all. Who says that? What do you mean? Like when someone's like, Par- I've been to Paris, France. Like I, I'm going to yeah. a bunch of cities, uh, like Barcelona, Paris, France. Oh, do people do that? I think I think when any time, uh, isn't that a song lyric too? Like Paris, France, New York, or Rome. It makes it seem like Paris, France, yeah. New York, Rome. I say Paris. Yeah. 
Gay Perry. Orlando Bloom. Eugene Levy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, I think the name is more of a name. Eugene. Yeah, like Gary. <laughs> is that the, he must be named Gary. after the city. Who always fell in the sewer in Hey Arnold. Yeah. I'm all right. I'm okay. Yeah. Charlotte Church. He's the driver of the Mauve Avenger. Bristol Palin. These are some good ones. These are some good shits. Incredibly good shits. Great. All right. Um, All right, boys. Wrap it up? Yeah, we could wrap yeah. it up. You want to spin I'd the wheel? Say. I knew. Oh, yeah. I don't know where my prep sheet is. I don't even need it, though. Oh, yeah. High noon tequila seltzer. It is an absolute staple. I had a friend visit me this weekend. What was his I, name? Christos. Was he Greek? He is. He has a Greek last name, too, but I don't want to dox him. But I don't think he'd mind because he loved the high noon that I was giving him. And I'm a household that likes both kinds. But lately, I've been all over those tequila seltzers. Oh, my gosh, are they good. 100 calories, gluten-free. But more important than anything, that shit doesn't matter unless it's delicious. And sure enough, it truly is delicious. High noon spirits.com you can find some near you or go to drizzly or at your local convenience or liquor store find some high noons pour it up drink it down forget it man that ish is awesome high noon find some near you today hell yes hell yes motherfucking yes let's go to carbone hell yeah yeah. nope l again We are never going to go. All right, boys. Well, have fun in Chicago. See you guys next week. In October? Next week. Oh, shit, yeah. We'll be back next week. Got an action-packed week. Is that next week? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, 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 it's not. Uh, no, no, it ain't. No, it's not. It's the week after. Oh, so next week's just regular? You. Next week is regular. Let's uh. Let's prep some stuff for next week. Hell no. Yeah. Yeah, I got some ideas. And it That's feels it. like more of a Chicago guy thing. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Us New York boys are just all on for the for the end of the ride. No, let's do a live office redesign next week with the brain trust. Yeah. All right, cool. I love um, you guys. Hey, yeah, love you guys, and uh, I don't say it enough. We don't say it enough, and I we'll figure out what's going time. on on Friday. It might make sense to do it in Chicago. I'll be there. On Friday, you will? Yeah. Might make sense to do it in Chicago. I can get my boy Cleveland to do it. Yeah. I didn't hear you, but I I caught caught a wind of what you're saying via the... We'll talk, yeah. Perfect. Um, All right, see you guys tomorrow. Yep. Peace. Shout out to the Anus fan that was playing CSGO with me last night. See you tomorrow.